Good morning, I'm Jeff. I'm with Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 5172 Southeast Castle Rock Court in Milwaukee, Oregon. We're located at the front of the home off to the left of the front doorway. Three inch ABS clean out. There's also another one here for the rain drains. The sewer is the one that's closest to the foundation. This will be the point of access. I'm going to insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. Currently have water running. Here we go. At 10 feet, it transitions to 6-inch PVC pipe. Everything looks great so far. Get here at 36 feet out. We've reached the main lateral <clears throat> out on Castle Rock. You got water running right now, or no? Yeah. Yes. Okay. We've got good flow all the way out to the street here. We're just going to let the water drain out for a moment so I can have a total picture of the uh, Y on the way back. Okay, the line's drained out. I'm going to go start pulling back here. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what this little green, it looks like a piece of metal. It's poking out of the concrete pipe, or the concrete bit here, right at the transition to the main lateral. Um, I'm not entirely sure what that's for. You could talk to the builder or the city possibly to see what that is. Uh, it looks like it's intended to be there. I'm just not familiar with seeing that. Uh, it doesn't appear to really be affecting flow. Um, I suppose that it could if something got hung up on it, but... I really have never seen that in uh, about 4,000 houses I've scoped. So maybe we're checking into asking the builder what that's for. And here at about 23 feet out, it's very difficult to discern right now. It's possible it's just pipe glue. It is a brand new house um, that's dangling on out. But on either side of the, uh, the screen here, there's something sticking out of the joint there. And when I back up, it does look like it's sticking straight out into the air. 
and not uh, stuck up against the pipe. I normally, when I see roots, that's often what they do. They don't just lay flat against the pipe because they're not heavy like uh, like pipe glue is. It will just kind of get wet and stick to the pipe. So it's possible that there is a small root intrusion that started there. And there's also something on the right side of the screen. The, the unfortunate part is at this time, the line is so new and whatever what's here is so tiny that um, you cannot determine at this time whether that's roots or not, unfortunately. It might be, it might not be. So um, in this circumstance, I would recommend rescoping uh, in six months to a year or something like that to see if that's progressed or changed at all. Right now, it's not it's not affecting the, the functionality of the line. The line's still functioning just fine. But that's worth checking into. close to pulling the, the camera out of the line here. We do have a good flow all the way out to the main lateral. The line is functioning properly at this time, uh, but I do think it's worth showing the video to the uh, builder or possibly another repair contractor. Get a second set of eyes on it uh, just to see if someone else can can tell what that is. Unfortunately, there the uh, there's the possible roots at 23 feet um, and then there's the, uh, that some like, it looks like a metal bar almost protruding out of the concrete uh, manhole, but it's right, at the, right where the line ties onto the main. And that, I'm not entirely sure what it is at all, uh, and it may be worth checking with the city to see if they know what it is. My only concern with that bar there is if you get enough debris coming down the line at once, you could, it could get hung up on that. Um, more than likely, it's not going to cause too many issues. At least, it's, it's hard to tell because the house is brand new. There hasn't been a whole lot of activity through the line. Uh, but those are both we're checking into. Apart from that, the line is functioning properly at this time. 